Endeavour Roman II Bark. Endeavour Roman II was a three-masted auxiliary bark built in Vancouver in 1968 and originally named Monte Cristo. She was built along the lines of the brigantine albatross as published in Alpha Foxy's second book of boats. In late February 1971, she was embayed during a full gale, and after attempting to beat her way out for several days, on 22 February was driven onto the bar of Parangaranga Harbour, a few miles south of North Cape, New Zealand, and wrecked. Construction Her hull was constructed of mahogany planking on heavy fur frames with spars of Sitka spruce. Her three-sectioned main mast rose 84 feet 26 m from deck to truck. Her deck measured 94 feet 29 m, which bowsprit and jibboom extended to almost 140 feet 43 m length overall. She was rigged as a three-masted bark with square sails on the main mast and foremast, a gaff-rigged fore and aft spanker on the mizzen mast, four jibs and a variety of staysails for a maximum of 17 sails set totaling 9,000 square feet 840 m2. The sails were controlled by around 5 miles 8. 0 km of running and standing rigging, all of natural manila rope and galvanized wire. There were no mechanical winches, all hauling being by block and tackle and manpower. The auxiliary engine was a GMC Jimmy 671 diesel. The only electronic aid to navigation was a marine VHF radio. Ownership Originally owned and built by a consortium of businessmen keen to recreate the great days of sale, she quickly became the sole property of Ron Craig, a Canadian businessman. Voyages Initially as Monte Cristo, she worked her way down the western seaboard of the United States, giving costumed onboard tours to paying visitors at each port of call. On 22 July 1969, she had to be towed into Port Townsend, Washington in thick fog after suffering engine trouble. She had a number of movie roles and on 9 November was briefly involved in the occupation of Alcatraz. After being renamed Endeavour Roman II, she sailed across the Pacific to Sydney to take part in the bicentenary re-enactment on 29 April 1970 of James Cook's landing at Botany Bay, Sydney. She subsequently cruised up the eastern seaboard of Australia to Brisbane, giving costumed onboard tours to paying visitors at each port of call, and then sailed for Auckland, New Zealand, under American skipper Jeff Berry. This proved to be her final voyage, and she encountered a number of delays. Soon after sailing, she was becalmed and carried southwards by a freak 70-mile-a-day current. In the Tasman Sea, the crew sighted distress flares and searched for over 12 hours without success. The consequent depletion of fuel reserves was to prove crucial later. On rounding North Cape, she encountered a full gale and failed to make the intended Hauhora Harbor. Wreck. After rounding North Cape, New Zealand, Endeavour Roman II found it impossible to keep position in 40 knot easterly winds when fuel ran out and she tried to anchor. Her anchors dragged and she was driven onto the bar of Parangaranga Harbour, a few miles south of North Cape. By one of them she had settled on her side and began to break up. The crew of 13 men and one woman reached the shore without loss. She was the first square-rigged sailing vessel wrecked on the New Zealand coast for more than 50 years. Her masts are preserved fitted to the converted sugar barge Tui in Pahia. Equals equals references equals equals.